So the weather today is just crazy. I think it might be some of my fault. We had beautiful sunshine, let's chuck it down for the last half an hour. Now we've got beautiful sunshine again, but I think it's because I charged this bad boy up to take it out and then the rain started straight away. So a bit of an omen not to use it. I mean, the last time I shot with it, I think it was between Christmas and New Year. And we headed down to the beach. Um, myself, one of my friends, Mark Whitelock, who's a brilliant photographer, and he had a new drone to try out. And my dad, who was shooting some landscape photography, that was literally the last time I've flown it. So I thought, you know, while the, while the weather's getting better, I should get it out and should use it. back in the studio after a monumentally busy week last week if you didn't catch that in the vlog you can see that right now just about yeah so this week is still really busy i've got a relatively quiet day today i've just had a rental in the studio so another photographer rent my studio to shoot some family and tomorrow i'm meeting a brand new client who's based on the quayside in newcastle which is great so i'm going to head down there it means i can go out and grab a coffee shoot some footage around the quayside around the river time hopefully take the drone out then tomorrow afternoon i'm shooting with paris who you may have seen in last week's vlog she was one of the models we use on one of the workshops, so I'm going to go out and shoot her. Because one of the things I find when I'm shooting workshops and I'm teaching workshops, you know, if I've got six or eight or ten people on the workshop and I'm taking them around and I'm showing them what to do, I get really jealous that I don't get to shoot some of the shots that they're shooting because I've set it up, I've done a test shot and said, guys, take yourselves away. And I almost don't get that little bit extra time to be a bit more creative and, and shoot a little bit more. So I'm going back out with Paris, going to hit some of the same spots that we did during the workshop. But it means I've got a lot more time, a lot more freedom to shoot a bit more creatively or create shoot a little bit more creatively to shoot a little bit more creatively and get some really cool images too. Big thanks to my friend Mark Whitelock who's managed to get me and my son Oliver some tickets for the Newcastle match. So I haven't been to a Newcastle match for oh, maybe it's two years and this is soccer for those in the US, football for those in the UK. So if Newcastle win tonight we'll get promoted back to the Premier League. So really excited to go there. I'm hoping the weather stays nice. There's forecast for snow. So I'm hoping it doesn't get too cold because Oliver will be freezing and I'll just have a pint and a pie and I'll be sorted. <music> North these nanas, we're just getting ready for football, wrapping up warm, the wind is ridiculously cold, it's supposed to snow, so we're getting all wrapped up, hats, scarves, the whole shebang, looking forward to the match, we do hope they get a win, so we can celebrate getting promoted back to the Premier League, don't worry. Yeah. Oops, he's, he's thrilled, obviously. <laughs> Tuesday morning, I've just had my first meeting of the day. Very quick one, but very exciting one. a client this morning who just gave me pretty much full autonomy to create something a little bit different for them 
it's something that traditionally is a bit of a boring shoot but they want something really different really fun really creative so i'm going to go away and get some ideas and go back present them back to the company and we're going to go ahead with that shoot in a couple of weeks time so really exciting it's nice to work with someone different who wants to do something a little bit different too So really frustrated that I cancelled today's shoot because the forecast was rain literally all day. It's not been one drop of rain, so we're really pissed off about that. So it is Wednesday afternoon, I've had a productive day so far, already been in the studio, um, shot a set of headshots for someone who wanted some new professional headshots for their website, and then she had an absolutely brilliant meeting with a great magician from the North East called Ryan Phelps, um, who was looking for to add some new stuff to his website, and looked to start vlogging as well, so I had a great chat with that guy, um, and now just sitting having a coffee with him to pick the kids up from school. <laughs> The weather is still pretty crazy down here. I texted one of my friends in Newcastle who said it's snowing. And here in heaven, or in Jarrow, it's glorious sunshine, really warm. So I just don't know what's going on with it. I've got a wedding this Saturday, and I'm hoping that the weather settles down a bit because it's at a great venue, we've got loads of outside space. I don't want to be worrying too much about the wind and the snow. I really don't want this bright sunshine either. A nice mellow day where lots of cloud would be perfect. God, you baby, do Right, so it's Friday night. I haven't really recorded much today. Uh, I was at BNI this morning, then I went to a family funeral. So it was a funeral of my uh, mum's mom's cousin, so my nana's cousin. It was a bit of a surreal experience, to be honest. I knew one or two people there, not a lot. And, and my mum asked us to go along with her just so she had someone to take with her. And it got to the point we went through the service. My mum got a little bit upset because, you know, it was, it was a woman who went through her childhood with my nana. And then we got back to... Uh, the wake which was at a pub in South Shields and we sat down and my mum had took along a lot of old photographs. Now we ended up sitting on a table with a load of people who grew up with my nana who were born in the 1920s 1930s and they were, could all reminisce about all these photographs about certain events. There was, there was one photograph in particular and I put this on my Instagram and it was a wedding and all the old ladies who I was sitting with who are all now in their 80s and 90s I guess were reminiscing about this day when they were bridesmaids when they were four and five years old and six years old and it you know it struck me really quickly that bloody hell you know my generation are not going to have this you know my generation aren't going to have printed photographs to look at back on the same with my kids you know god god knows what they're going to have in their generation you know and it, you know we're such a throwaway society now and the same with photographs you know, we take them, we put them on Facebook, we put them on Instagram, they get deleted off memory cards. When we get a new phone, we lose a lot of pictures then. And it's very rare you see photographs printed or in albums or anywhere compared to, you know, my parents have got bags and bags and bags of old photographs when I was a kid in their house and from years and years before that. And it's, it's, it's sad that, you know, my generation aren't going to have that. We're not going to be able to sit and look back on these memories. And, and God knows what we'll have in replacement. You know, for all I know, there could be holographic photographs that you know, go around in the age room funerals when I die in another 60, 70 years' time. But it's a bit of a sombre thought to think, you know, it's, it's all these memories could be erased, in fact, and you'll not have something to look back on. You'll not be able to remember certain aspects or certain days or certain events because you don't have that memory trigger through the photographs. So it's something, you know, that, that's really... I don't know what's hit a chord with me today and, and made us understand how important photography is and no matter that's whether just taking family snaps or you know taking photographs for big events it's it's still really important <laughs>
So we're at the Beamish Hall Hotel in, is it in Durham? <laughs> so the Beamish Hall Hotel in Durham. I'm um, shooting today's wedding of Margaret and Rosa. It's a fantastic day so far. So we're just sitting down with all the guests having their meal now. So we've just had a burger in the bar. And we're going to sit and have a coffee and just get prepped for the rest of the day. So a really good day. Weather's pretty good. Quite cloudy, a little bit of winds. Not too hot. So really perfect conditions for shooting. I have got a bag of 20 smoke bombs in the car. So we're going to try using those soon. Hopefully it'll not be too windy. But it's going to blow the smoke away. We can actually use those and get some really interesting, really cool shots for the couple one two. So being that I'm here anyway and I was going to plan a question time in for some time this week on the vlog, there's no better time to do it than now. I'm going to spend literally about two minutes answering a few questions that people have sent in on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So Victoria comes as asked, what do I like to photograph for myself? Is it not paid work, just something I enjoy shooting? I've written a couple of blogs on this whole subject before um, and usually what I like to shoot is just something creative, so whether that be creative headshots, creative fashion portraits, but it tends to be with people. I don't get a great deal of pleasure from shooting landscapes or shooting cityscapes or anything like that. I like to work with people. Um, so when I'm shooting just for myself, it tends to be with a full creative team. So hair and makeup, you know, really cool models, and we're trying to incorporate something in there and just make it something different, and that's the kind of process I enjoy. So Alan England, I've got loads of questions from Alan. Um, What's my favourite pudding? Donuts or muffins? It would have to be muffins. What's my inside leg measurement? <laughs> and what's my favourite colour? Red. Laura Lazard has asked on Instagram, have I filled the dishwasher yet? And Richard Bradbury has asked, where do I want my photography business to be in five years and what do I want to be shooting? So, that's a long term plan for me and this is no secret, I want to start phasing weddings out by 2020. I don't want to be shooting weddings anymore, I want to be shooting more fashion and commercial work. And the dream for me is to be flying around the world, shooting fashion commissions for some of the biggest brands in the world. If you don't know where you're going, it's hard to aim for it, so you might as well have a big dream to try and get there. So thanks very much guys, that's the end of question time today. So one of the requests from the couple today is that we use smoke bombs uh, to get something a little bit different. So I've never used this brand of smoke bomb before. So the couple are still finishing the meal, we're going to go and test it and just see just how much smoke it gives out. We've warned the venue to see if there's not a fire just in case it produces a lot of smoke. So it'll be fun, we'll wait and see what happens. So we've done with individual shots with Margaret Nozan, now we're bring, bringing the whole bridal party in with loads more grenades to see what happens with this, so... So now it's a case of go big or go home, so we're doing a full wedding group shot with smoke grenades going off in the background. So that worked really well, really pleased with the results oh, we got there. The wind's quite low so it meant it wasn't dissipating the smoke too much. So we got some great shots, so it's nice to do something different. I was just saying to my dad, Alex, uh, it's really nice to do something a little bit different at the wedding and get a different shot. It's always great when a couple gives you this much time to shoot as well, because sometimes you're quite limited for time at weddings and you only get 5, 10, 15 minutes with a couple. But Margaret knows that they'll give us probably about 45, 50 minutes at a time, which is absolute gold. Conditions today are perfect for wedding photography. It's an overcast sky, it's not too warm, it's not too cold. There's very little wind in the air, which means we've got time to spend and create some nice shots without worrying about too much about the conditions. So the plan now is shoot the first dance get some dancing shots, and then try and get back out if it stays mild enough outside to do a little. <laughs> then come back out if it's mild enough and shoot a few more smoke shots in the dark using some backlight with some flash. Oh. 
So we're not content with already using about 15 smoke bombs, we've got two left, we thought we'd try something a little bit different. What we're going to do is light up this little area behind us, you can see there's a little speed light on a stand there. We're going to front light it with the softbox at the front and we're going to set some smoke off right around the couple. Underexpose it so it's really dark and just see what sort of result we get from it. The official instructions say don't be a dick about smoke grenades. That worked pretty well, but you have the results. Sixteen hours, four thousand four hours, twenty small bombs. Job done. Time for a beer. Then bed. I am happy though. Great photos from today. No, no, no. Eight o'clock on Sunday. I am absolutely for today's workshop it's in the studio and we have about seven or eight photographers coming along and we've got two fantastic models so it's a studio lighting techniques workshop where I teach where I teach a range of different lighting techniques that people can take away and start using pretty much anywhere it doesn't have to be in the studio it can be at their home it can be in a, just an open room the idea is that they take away some ideas and they can build upon those lighting ideas so I give them some base setups show them how to shoot, shoot them show them the best modifiers to use and they can go away and then just build upon that knowledge So it's Sunday afternoon, we're back in the studio, we've done a morning session with model Joe this morning and we've now got Emma in the studio so we're doing a lot lighter sort of lighting setups this morning was much more high contrast uh, which suited a real edgy male model. This afternoon we're going for a much softer look so we're using some nice soft high speed sync work and then we're going to do some natural light work in next door in the studio too. Uh -oh. So our studio lighting workshop is done and now a very rare night out with my brother and my dad. I'm pretty exhausted I can do going straight to bed but I can't pass up a night without these two fellas. I am looking forward to a lie in the morning though. I can't wait. If I sound really nasally and really coffee I do feel rough. I'm hoping that Guinness is going to be the answer tonight. <laughs> Guys, that is the end of this week's vlog. I've just come in from your night out, so I'm a little bit tipsy. But thank you so much for watching this week. If you've liked and you've if you've enjoyed <laughs> if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please do feel free to th pick. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there's anything. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see and I'll try and incorporate that in a future vlog. Thanks very much guys. See you next week.